welcome, welcome. Anthony F. Are you an Android.com? And yes, lots of buzz about CyanogenGen Incorporated. Uh, the great business move they made, not so great business move they made, their business moves. So in the end, they work for the business. Can't be mad at that. Now, in harmony with that, um, CyanogenMod is trying to make the custom ROM more friendly for the mainstream. We're okay with that. That's what we're all about, the mainstream, helping you all out. So we're going to try to make it an even step easier. So say, for instance, you're thinking about uh, rooting, well, your phone's, say, say your phone's rooted, okay? Now say you're thinking about putting another ROM on there or another custom-built Android system on your phone. Yes, that's a big, big step. So say you're looking at CyanogenMod, looking at Paranoid Android, um, AOKP, things like that. And it seems like a good idea, but it seems daunting. Well, the CyanogenMod Incorporated installer is not production yet. It's not ready yet. Being tested, but it's not ready yet. So what do you do in the meantime? How do you test to see if you even want to use the custom apps and things made by CyanogenMod for your phone? Well, right here in front of us is a CM app installer by Jordan Fisher. What he did is he created an app that uh, has to be rooted that pulls the custom apps from CyanogenMod. It pulls them and allows you to install them. If you're familiar with Linux, basically he pulls all of the CyanogenMod mod apps out of its repository so that you can use them without installing the whole CyanogenMod customized ROM. And this is a good way to test things. So um, just been updated today. Uh, we spoke to him a couple days ago. Uh, we wanted to add a couple more things that uh, CyanogenMod uses. So he did that. So this basically says what we discussed. Um, a lot of ROMs out there, and sometimes you're a little weary if you want to try it out. So here's a list of what it adds. Um, the Apollo Music Player, CM Messaging, CM Torch, CM File Manager, DSP Manager, CM Calculator, Voice Plus, News and Weather Widget, and soon to come, Video Editor. Yes, we asked for that one. So let's open it up, take a look at it, see what it do. All right, first it gives you this. This app has root permissions, thank you very much. All right, so here on the left are the apps in question. Click Apollo, gives you a little short description. The Apollo Music Player's application is available on Sanjamat ROMs as a rival to Google Play Music. This player is a beautiful player, beautiful, beautiful player, but it does not work in regular phones. A stock Android Apollo Music Player crashes, crashes, crashes. So supposedly you download it here, and it will work for you. So this is not just simply pulling out apps out of the repository. It's also making sure that it works, doing some uh, cold, foolery magic in the background to make it happen. Also, their calculator, which seems to be a very advanced calculator. That's cool. Along with the CM file manager, which uh, last time I saw it, it's a very nice looking file manager. Very light, but it does the job and also very powerful. The Torch app, if you have a flash or LED light on your device, it will activate that for you pretty easily. Messaging app, basically it's an SMS app, but it's customized for CyanogenMod. Does a little bit more cartwheels and backflips. The DSP equalizer, which basically is the digital sound. Uh, I forget what the P means. But it, it, it enhances the sound, basically. Stock Android does not come with that. CyanogenMod does come with that. And then Voice Plus, where, let's see, it's answered a full Google Voice and Android interrogation. Center receives text messages using your voice, which is cool. I did not download that. I probably will test that out. I like automation via voice. That's nice. So these are the things that they have. Soon they will add the video editor also. That'd be nice. Uh, the movie maker, the movie uh, movie editor, which I saw on CyanogenMod and Android, where Google stopped putting in the uh, stock Android. 
So I'm looking forward to seeing that. You can refresh the list. You can donate if you like. Change log the code. Um, you request super user or sue if you did not, for some reason, if the app did not give you the granted rights. You can ask for it again. And down here it tells you what's going on. So you download the app to your device. So we want to actually use that. So we'll let that do that. Wow, that was fast. Then you install the app. Tells you what's going on. I think it takes a couple of minutes there. Um, if you hit it twice, then you back up the app. Usually if you hit it twice. I forgot to let Jordan know that it does that. All right, let's just hit it again. All right, process finished. I don't know, process is usually finished, but it doesn't pop up letting you know that it's finished. There we go, you uninstall the app after that if you don't like it, and then there's more information as to the file size, what's installed, and whether it's backed up or not. So that's cool, I like it. Uh, let me know if you like it. I will put the app link in the show notes. This is Anthony F. Tetsunau Sainan Jamad App Installer.